Hi, welcome back all of you. Nana here. And then uh, the much awaited training on the fusion procurement six pillars is going to be starting soon. It has been scheduled actually. So any, many, many, many people are expecting for it and then I have scheduled it now. So let me go on and share my screen and then show what exactly it is. So if you go to the URL and then write oraclenana.com slash PO. OracleNana.com slash PO is the website, is my website for PO actually. It will not show you what exactly it is. So the Fusion Procurement Six Pillars training starts on 4th of November <clears throat> at 6 p.m. India. Uh, it has been slightly shifted mainly to accommodate uh, the West Coast people because uh, uh, that is the difficulty for him. Even they have to wake up in the early morning. And so that will be coming over here now. <laughs> it will be for nine weekends actually. Uh, and he may even be beyond depending upon it. So this covers almost all the six pillars of procurement, namely procurement, cell service procurement, and then sourcing, procurement contracts, supplier qualification, and then supplier portals. Fine, all the things are covered. Fine, it will be an extensive one. So it's on six weekends actually. <clears throat> it's a very economical. Fine, <clears throat> not a difficult one. And then uh, you will have a lot of uh, what happens. Uh, my past students are also going to join actually. So they say that uh, we may even get some value addition, even though they are very much aware of it, but even then they are also joining actually. <clears throat> so you can even look at the agenda at the bottom actually. You will become an expert to implement all the six pillars independently and that much of a knowledge will be important to you so that uh, you need not have to uh, what happens, uh, go through any documents, uh, fine, like implementation guides, user guides and all. Fine. This itself will be sufficient for you to what happens, implement every pillar actually. So the course fee is 2,500. <clears throat> So consultants who are implementing fusion procurement to be of great use, actually. And then uh, functional implementers of other modules like uh, inventory, order management, etc., etc. They will also find this uh, course to be very useful. And then from other ERP also, like uh, Jerry Edwards and SAP. <clears throat> Fine. So no uh, big prerequisite is assumed from uh, the participants, actually. And uh, you will be taught everything as far as uh, this particular uh, training is concerned. And so if you know fusion in inventory, that will be advantageous. But uh, there is not a big uh, prerequisite, actually. And then graduates with the known knowledge of ERP also, they can very well, whatever. They have to strictly follow whatever I practice. It will be a 100% hands-on session. Fine. I will not be reading any PowerPoints or anything like that. So from an implementation perspective, it will be covered. So it will be giving you a lot of idea about it now. <clears throat> so even though I written a prerequisite as what a working knowledge of inventory, fine. So I don't insist upon, fine. It doesn't matter. Even if you don't know uh, fusion inventory, uh, we can very well understand this course actually. <clears throat> Every concept of PO will be taught from grassroots. And so uh, you need not have to go to any other place to what happens, uh, uh, have idea about it. Fine. Everything will be taught. Even right from enterprise structure creation, we'll be creating a complete enterprise. And then uh, that will be set for procurement actually. <clears throat> we'll make a deep dive into every business process. And so each and everything will be clearly taught to you. It's huge. And then uh, you have to practice all the concepts on weekdays so that what happens uh, once when you come on the next weekend, uh, you'll be ready to take up the fresh ones actually. And then this is the biggest advantage of support. Fine. I have uh, uh, two students, uh, pass group, uh, pass group students. Uh, there, there are more than thousand students are there. And then you can post your issues over there. Fine. If you are getting stuck, what happens? Uh, you, because my knowledge may not be sufficient to solve some of your problems. So either me or my students will assist you in problem resolution actually. So you'll be getting a lot of help from uh, my students actually. So if it is absolutely required, we can even uh, come on a Zoom call and then uh, try to address the issues. Fine. No worries. And my students are sharing instances now, now and then. So I'm sharing it in the Telegram group. So I hope that you will not be finding any problem in practicing these concepts during this training, actually. Fine. Some instance or other will be given to you. Fine. It starts on 4th of November on weekends, actually. So it is on weekends only and not on weekdays. <clears throat> and then timings on Saturdays and Sundays. Fine. It is for a, a huge duration of nine weekends and beyond. Fine. It may even go beyond because I am an Oracle University trainer. There I cannot go beyond at all. Fine. So whatever times have been given, fine. I have to stick to the time. And then uh, afterwards, uh, what happens, uh, the training will be ending actually. Whereas in my training, I extend it also. <clears throat> Depending upon the interactions, what happens, I'm extending it also. And then it's start, starting on Indian standard time, fine. Now, it's very difficult to arrive at a common time throughout the globe actually. So in the West Coast, they will be finding it is very early in the morning actually. <clears throat> and then this time is uh, very, very late in the night actually. Uh, in uh, Japan, uh, 9.30 p.m. will be approximately 2 a.m. actually. On Sundays, they will be finding it very difficult to what happens uh, uh, sit there because next day morning they have to go for office actually. Fine. So it's very difficult to arrive at a common time throughout the globe. 
any however what happens uh, this is the uh, three sessions which are going to have now fine 6 to 7 7 15 to 8 15 and then afterwards 8 30 to 9 30 now fine three sessions three one hour sessions actually and then we'll be having a 15 minutes uh, break i will have a coffee because i'm a old man 63 years old so i need some refreshment actually <clears throat> so that'll be done so every session will be recorded and then uploaded the drive and then you will now find this really very informative and then very educative actually fine <clears throat> So you can even practice them at, at your own field actually. So you can even make a payment at my UPID. Fine, the one you can make it. Or if you are using a credit card or debit card or something else, or you can even go to the international payment gateway, the bottom link. Fine, so that. So this is the one now. Fine. So this is the international payment gateway. It accepts everything. Fine. But uh, what happens if you are, uh, let us say, you are now using from US actually? The US credit and debit cards must have a two-factor authentication. If it is there, the, the payment gateway will not accept top. Fine. If your credit or debit cards are having a two-factor authentication, you can very well use any card throughout the world, actually. So you click on this link now. <clears throat> so once when you click on the link, you can now see here, put your name and then put the appropriate card. Put a Gmail ID, fine. Do not put any other ID because uh, the Google Drive is uh, very much compatible with the Gmail, actually. <clears throat> and then go there and then put your phone number. You can even choose your country. And then accordingly, what happens, you can do it now. Find the, in the worldwide one, actually. And then put it, and then click on next, and then uh, go ahead, and then follow the on-screen instructions, and then complete the payment, actually. So once when the payment is completed, you send me a screenshot to me. Fine. So you send a screenshot to me, so that what happens, I'll be registering. Because I may not be seeing the payments very frequently, actually. One, once or twice, I'll be seeing it in a day. Fine. So what happens, you send a screenshot to me, so that what happens, WhatsApp, I'm always on, actually. So on seeing your screenshot, I will now immediately register you for the course, actually. And then uh, we have a plan of only what happens, accommodating only 100 because we, if it goes beyond 100, it becomes unmanageable actually. The crowd will become big. So I will now close it for registrations actually. So uh, rush, rush, and then rush your registration so that what happens, you don't miss the bus actually. And it is really very useful for you fine, on implementing it. Fine. You will have a lot of people and then uh, you can interact with them and then uh, you can even go for the advanced level of inquiries. Somebody may even assist you on this one. So if you are not having uh, what happens all these things, if you want to make a PayPal payment, talk to me. I will not tell you about how to do it actually. <clears throat> what else? What else? So uh, I'm even having my YouTube channel and then have a look at it now. So this is a, uh, what happens, the agenda for the six pillars agenda now. So initially, I will now begin with the enterprise structure creation. Right? The users will be created and then uh, what happens, the locations and then the legal entity, the legal interest. So LE also will be created and then it will be shown to you actually. And then once when the LE is created, I will not go for the managed chart of accounts. Chart of accounts is a big one, fine. So we'll be using the chart of accounts now here. Yeah, like and then afterwards, what happens? We'll not create the ledger actually. Ledger. And then the specific ledger options. So then the skeleton financial structure will be created, even though it may not be going in depth into financials, but the skeleton financial structure will be ready. And then afterwards, we'll now go for a business unit creation actually. So your uh, procurement will be set up on the business unit. And then we'll now go on the same business unit business function. And then uh, we'll now have all these things. <clears throat> fine. So everything will be done. <clears throat> so, go there. so go down, go down. And then it will be very interactive. And then I will not stop anybody from asking any questions because I know that it will be a combination of, it will be a hybrid uh, what happens, the participants. Fine. Somebody will be very fresh and then somebody will be experienced. So the freshers uh, can see about how the experienced people are talking in the classroom. So that that will give them a great idea. So go there. It is a role-based access control system. And then I will be assigning all these roles to you, the person now. And then afterwards, we'll now go and then start the procurement setup section. Fine. So procurement setups will be done now, fine. So once when this is done, fine, the structure is ready for you to, what happens, to start your uh, setups on the procurement, actually. The first piece of procurement begins now, fine. So once when that, what happens, you'll be having uh, other things. And then there will be six ways of what happens, uh, uh, demonstrating the approval on the purchase, now, fine, whether it'll be done. And then afterwards, I will now show you about how to do the supply registration and then the profile cha and change approvals, all these things, it'll be shown now. And then finally, what happens? It will be uh, creating purchase orders, and then we'll not automate it also. Right? The PR to PO automation will be done. Right? PR CPA SPU automation, and then afterwards PR BPA SPU automation. Fine, right? everything will be shown, shown to you. And then the touchless buying is another uh, excellent feature which has uh, been introduced in Fusion actually. So that will also be shown over here now. Right? <clears throat> okay, fine. Right? So this way it works now. Fine, right? uh, and then uh, direct standard inspection is uploading, <clears throat> and then the second pillar begins now. Fine. Right? So the second pillar will be fine. That is the self-service procurement. And it will be teaching you about how to set up the self-service procurement and completely. It will now be teaching you. And then afterwards, the third pillar will now begin now fine, on the sourcing point. <clears throat> so we have a RFQ and then RFI and then a two-stage RFQ. Fine. So single stage RFQ will be shown over here. And then afterwards, the two-stage RFQ and then the request for information and then the reverse auction, actually. And then the fourth pillar of on the procurement contacts will begin now. 
So the procurement contracts will be fully set up on the on the created uh, operating unit or other business unit. And then all of us will be demonstrated actually. <clears throat> all the things will be shot to you. And then afterwards, the fifth pillar is the supply quality is a very tough module. Right? So that will be taught to you, fine, how to make it now. So we'll be using the visions instance for uh, demonstrating the supply qualification because uh, we don't have any ready-made data. So because of which, whatever, we'll be using it for demonstration. And then that will be very useful for you to whatever, go to the field and then uh, do it. Mm -hmm. Then finally, the supply portal will now begin now. So the supply portal will be having all the information about how the ASN is created, ASBN is created, <clears throat> fine, everything. Each and every activity on the supply portal will be totally demonstrated to you. So all these things are there, fine. Brother. So it is around the 322 points, and then I'm expecting it to go for around nine weekends and then beyond, fine, on Saturdays and Sundays. So it may even go beyond. I mean, it all depends upon how much of interactions we are having it with the people in the future. So that's it all from me as far as this training is concerned. Fine. It's a very useful one. And then pass on this uh, what happens on my website <clears throat> to your friends, actually, oraclenona.com slash PO. And then that will be of a great use to them, actually. Fine. Those who are even... Beginners in fusion, they can very well understand. Fine. Everything will be taught to them so that what else, you'll not be finding any difficulty at all. <clears throat> so it's starting on 4th of November. Fine. So rush, rush your registrations basically so that what else, you'll not be what else, having any disappointment if I close the registration, if it crosses under actually. Fine. I'm waiting for 100 participants. I'll be closing it now. Fine. So make it fast and then what else, participate and prosper actually. Fine. Bye for now. <clears throat>